just east of the Salt Lake Temple is the church office building, which is the tallest building in the downtown area with 28 floors above ground and three floors below ground. Completed in 1972, this office tower houses nearly all the departmental organizations of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. It is flanked by two four-story wings. Prior to the construction of this edifice, administrative offices of the church were scattered in buildings throughout the city. It sits on what was originally Brigham Young's farm. The building features the church historical library on the main floor and the two observation decks on the 26th floor with panoramic views of Temple Square, Salt Lake City, the mountains, and the valley. The plaza and surrounding grounds are covered with beautifully landscaped flower gardens, pools, and statues depicting Latter-day Saint life. The central feature of the plaza is a large fountain with seven sets of jet streams interplaying in a variety of heights, culminating in one large display rising to a height of 52 feet. The view from the fountain looking towards the Salt Lake Temple is a favorite site for newlyweds to have their pictures taken. All the water used in the church office building and on the grounds comes from four underground water wells. The large relief maps on the outside of the building have been purposely distorted. The longitude panel runs through Jerusalem on the Eastern Hemisphere and through Palmyra, New York on the Western Hemisphere. The west wing of the church office building sits on property where Horace Kimball Whitney and his wife Helen Marr Kimball once had a home. The Whitneys were the last couple to be sealed in the Nauvoo Temple prior to the pioneer exodus. Horace was the son of Newell K. and Elizabeth Ann Whitney, while Helen was the daughter of Heber C. and Valate Kimball on June 15, 1850, Horace set type for the first edition of the Deseret News. For more information on Hallowed Ground Sacred Journeys, please visit virtualtours.byu.edu.